is there's almost no black on this CT Skynus. <laughs> CT Skynus. <laughs> All right, so how's this gonna look on a CT Skynus? <laughs> Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education. How do you read a CT scan of the sinuses? What's normal versus abnormal? Let's find out. All right, so let's look at a normal CT scan. First of all, I like coronal cuts. Coronal cuts are the best way to look at a CT scan. So what you see here is a left forehead sinus. Anything in the sinuses we want to be black. Black means air. Gray means swelling, possible mucus, and possible polyposis. We're starting to see the nasal septum right here. You can tell right here that the nasal septum is a little deviated to the, to the left side. That's the patient's left. All right, going a little bit further back. The next sinuses we're gonna start seeing are the ethmoid sinuses. The ethmoid sinuses are between the eyes. This is completely normal, okay? We see black, we see little bony fragmentations here. We call them little lamella of bone, completely normal. As we go further back in those coronal cuts, we're gonna now we're gonna see the maxillary sinuses. Here's a star right here. That's just underneath the left eye socket. And right here is where that sinus drains. On the right side, again, normal sinuses, black means air. You're seeing black sinus, which means air, going and draining out of that infundibulum right there. Let's keep on going further back. We're getting more so into the posterior ethmoids. It's lined by the skull base up here, the eye socket right here. We call that the medial lamina papyracea. And here is the posterior ethmoids, black. Here's some bony, bony partitions right here, totally normal. And now we're going further back, okay? We're gonna find our way into the sphenoid sinus. All right, here we go. We're starting to get in there right there, okay? Here's your right sphenoid sinus, and here's your left sphenoid sinus. Again, perfectly normal. When ENT surgeons help neurosurgeons doing pituitary surgery, they actually go back here, and they create the corridor for the neurosurgeon to remove the pituitary tumor. All right, so now we're gonna go from one extreme to the other. Let's say you have a patient come in with loss of smell, loss of taste, and you look in their nose and you see this. What is that? That's a patient full of nasal polyposis. How might their CT scan look with this? You're gonna see hardly any black and all that gray is thick polyposis, occluding the nasal cavity and the sinus cavities. Let's take a look. Here we go again, here's our coronal cuts. Notice right here, all this is polyps hanging down in that left nasal cavity. All this is polyps. There's a touch of air going up towards the skull base, but that's it. This patient is not breathing well. Let's keep on going further back. What you'll see here is, again, complete occlusion of the nasal cavity. There is some air in that right maxillary sinus, but pretty much everything else is occluded. A little bit of air here, completely occluded. We're going to go further back now, further back into that skull. And here we are in the ethmoid cavities, okay? Pretty much completely occluded, okay? Um, this is a significant sinus patient and nasal obstructed patient. And as we go all the way further back, I want you to notice something. When I took this patient to surgery, it was amazing that all the way back here in the back of the nose, it was like these polyps were hanging down like grapes. Let me show you right here. This is all nasal polyposis in the back of the nose. And when we removed all of it, the patient came back and was like, I can breathe for the first time in my life. All right, so what do we do for this patient? So we took him to surgery, cleaned out all the polyps, and then opened up his sinus cavities. So look, this is a completely open right nasal cavity. So here we are, here's his middle turbinate right here. Here's his right maxillary sinus, his right sphenoid sinus wide open. Here's his skull base, okay? Now we're gonna go upside down, not upside down, we're gonna look up, and now we're looking up towards his skull base. There's his frontal sinus. Not only can he breathe better, but he feels more open and he can taste and smell. And now, if we repeated his CT sinus, all of his cavities would be black instead of gray because now they're filled with air. For more content like this, please like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.